let's start off with numbers one through five. These are Patriots with bone scales. Everything has liners to back it up also. Very nice. A variety of colors. Six through 10, more Patriots. And let's grab number seven here. This has blue liners. Mm, see that? Nice. Black micarta. Patriot is such a nice this EDC. Is a yes, a great EDC knife. Yeah, That's sure. one through 10, or I'm sorry, six through 10, right? Yeah. Down here on six the bottom. Six through 10. Number okay. 11. Number 11. This is natural with glow, uh, those has, that has glow liners to, to it. Number 11 has glow liners. Very cool. Brass pins. Okay, back up to the top here. Number 12 is a Frontier first, but with some really nice looking uh, stabilized maple in the gray liners. I like it. Okay, number 13, down here through 23. These are all oh, stag look knives. Those. Look at that. There are a few different colors of liners. Stag at Christmas. How about that? I love that. This is number 19. Okay. Just for instance, that has Ooh, green liners. Green liners. Okay. Uh, number 22, yellow liners. Nice. And 23 has orange liners. Orange liners. Very there's, cool. there's a few different liner colors there. <clears throat> so nice. call in, see what we have left. Numbers 24 through 30. Okay. Frontier first. Kind of tactical. These are bead blasted with black micarta scales and copper hardware. Oh, I love that. Can you and see a that? Clip. Yes. Oh, Look sorry. At that. Can you see that? How cool is that for Frontier First, man? All the way down. I'm and this, that thing. Here's number 30, basically. The same oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Same thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, back, back up to back the, up the top to the here. Top. This is a custom one. And you get there's some file work. You quit moving. I'll, I'll move around. <laughs> There's some file work, red liners, full polish, and S30V. Very nice. All right, number 32 through 36. Frontier mm -hmm. first, brass hardware, green micarta. Very classic. Yeah, this will look great on those a leather gorgeous. hip sheath. Man, those are nice. Merry Christmas, look, Uncle Bob. Look at the squared off spine. Pull up one of those. I saw that just when you flashed it. Look at that. You can see the contrast. That is so awesome. Man, is that yeah. going to throw some sparks? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or help with your Tinder bumble. Yes. All right. 37 down here. 37 through 40. Uh, excuse me. 43. 43, yeah. <clears throat> More Frontier First Tactical. A little different, though. We have some file work. Look at that. Beautiful vine work. And aluminum hardware. Aluminum hardware and vine on these. Yeah. So the other ones had a false clip. These have a uh, yeah. vine hardware. Yeah, this is number oh. this is number 42. Can that you see that? Awesome. I love that. Look at that. that vine, man. That's some nice cool. custom touches. Custom pieces. Good job. Ready Christmas. Okay. All right, up at the top here again, 44, 5, 6, 7. These are Frontier Trappers. Yeah. Now, a little bit different here on the scales. Mountain finish on 44 uh here for instance here's 47 is jig micarta that is so cool look at that look at that aebl 46 gray with blue liners mm. nice nice and 45 is black micarta with brass hardware very cool okay down here to 47 so, okay 48 48 uh, mm -hmm. Through 52, large northern large hunters. Northerns. Look and, at that uh, array. A variety of handle setups. This is dragon scale on this number might be 51. The most large, well, there's two smaller. Yeah. Let me get to that in a second. Yeah. Five oh, nice, nice ones. Here, black with orange liners, black mountain finish. Orange liners, that's number 52. Beautiful. Uh, 49. Oh, man, if you were Look looking how, for a thin, man, what a kitchen knife that that's, would make. Oh, that's nice. And a twist yeah. on the double red micarta. What a camp kitchen possibility there, plus game prep. I like it. Yep, that's a good one. Okay, like down it. the bottom here, we have two small northern hunters. Mm. This is the blue and natural rich light. Yeah. You see that? Yeah, No good. liners. That's that maple. And this looks like Osage Orange. It is Osage Orange. With Look black. at that. How about that? You too? know, when that came across my station out here i was like oh look we got some osage out 
about and if that. I am correct, I do see a couple more Osage pieces over there, at least one for sure. All right, we'll get to yeah, them. We'll get to them. Back up top here, this is 55, 6, 7, and 8. These are camp mucks and a variety oh, of handles. Very, very nice. Love that toxic green. How about that? With black liners, I believe. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. sorry. Up That's a reflection off the other one. No liners. Awesome. Okay, this is double red with white. Mm. Uh, camo G, or no, that's the um, Python Micarta. Yeah, with the orange. Orange yeah, line. a good looking knife. I like that one. Those are hollow ground. These two are anyway. 57 and 58 are hollow grinds. Really? Yeah, yeah, look at that. Been a while since we threw out some hollows. Mm -hmm. Sure enough. 55 and 6. Those are done on an 8 inch wheel for you guys who keep track of things like that. Yep. They are ground by hand. I guarantee <clears throat> that. <laughs> yep, for sure. Okay, yeah. down a little bit here. 59 yeah. uh, through 66. 59 through 66. Frontier Valleys. Okay. A variety of handles. Yeah, here, 61 wrong. is orange and black G10. Number 63 is uh, maple paper mm -hmm. with, no, no mm -hmm. liners. But that maple paper is such a good looking... Oh, yeah. yeah, good stuff. Okay, 66. Uh, what do you got? Down. Python over there, too. Yeah. Yeah, Python on 65. Okay. Full Python. polish. Good, good, good. Right on. Mm -hmm. okay. Moving down here. 67 and 68. More Frontier Valleys. You can see that's more jigged micarta. Well, that's G10, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, G10, sorry. Check that Very out. Very nice. I love the black in my, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it's got. Very cool. This one is well, I said inlay, I in double red. Not, not inlay, just black inset. Yeah, okay. It's not inlay. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, what was that? 68. Okay, where are we at? 70? No, or this is 69. No, this, there it is. Sorry. 69 that is in Kydex, oh, of check course. Check it out. Red on red. Exactly. Frontier Valley, but a little different. Yeah, but it's different. a custom. Look how it's a, yeah. it's a, it's a grind. It's an overgrind. Yeah, it's kind of an right? overgrind. Yeah. It's got a laser stamp. Man, that's mm -hmm. a really cool piece. You want to talk about a cut and knife, buddy. That thing is... Oh, she's a slicer. Loaded. I sharpened it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That thing is killer. Yeah, very I like sharp. That. Okay. 70. Uh, 70, 71, 72. Maverick Colts. Mm. In some customized bone scale here. Yeah. Oh, antler. That yeah oh, I'm antler. sorry, antler, yeah. Black liners. Right on. Of course. Very nice. This one here, number 72, is just black is that and copper hardware on copper it. Copper hardware, yeah. Copper hardware. Love that look. All right, 73. Small, small workhorse or something custom? Uh, yeah, I would say, no, that's a small powder. Okay, with a lanyard. No, there you go. Yeah, AUBL. Yeah, 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 correct. 332. You can see the green with the orange mm -hmm. liners. I like that. Okay, 74. Through 77, I got some Kydex stuff. Patriot, Frontier Valley, Frontier Valley, and a JX3. And JX3, yeah. Yeah. So Patriot with a little bit of an overlay. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Very nice. I like that. I like that. And then what's out of Frontier Valley? Mm-hmm. In green, right? Yeah, pretty simple. Oh, no, that's a, not a Frontier Valley. That is a... Uh, Great Plains Plainsman, I'm sorry, yeah. Great Plainsman. Is it also... Yeah. Yes. Great Plainsman in black. So Sorry you got about black that. and green. And, and then, then a JX3. Oh, very cool. Convex grind. Yeah. You know, very cool. Okay. Here's 78 and 79. We have a couple Sospis models. Another Osage orange. The orange liners to jive with it. Mm -hmm. That looks really nice. I am a fan of Osage. I do like mm -hmm. it. Double red with natural, thick natural liners. That's 79. Down here to 80 and 81. Osage Orange on the Genesis. Hmm. We don't see too many. I don't to see too many of them floating around. Yeah, nice thick like black that. liners. Mm. Uh, looks like stabilized maple. Yeah. That looks like also thin or medium size, I guess, OD green liners. Okay. A2. Copper hardware on that, too? Uh, copper hardware. Yeah. Right Brass here, copper here. Yeah, correct. Good deal. Okay, number 82 down here, another Genesis. And this is the black 
natural burlap, and mm. I think Nick did the dragon scale yeah. finish on that one. So it's got some texturing to Very it for nice. sure. Yeah, that's an interesting scale material, that black. It gives you burlap. some nice traction. Still yes, has the thumb scallops. Anytime we do something like that, the knife gets hit on the scotch part wheel, so it, you don't have a lot of sharp edges there, what I'm getting. Correct, at. correct. Still feels good in the hand. Okay, 83 is the GP Medium, but very custom. Check out these Rotary liners. Liners. What so, is that? It's like a translucent, but with some resin swirls in it. Super good looking. Copper yeah. copper hardware, too, on that one. Nice. That's pretty that slick. Won't be, that won't hang around long. Nope. That's number 83. <clears throat> okay, 84. As uh, you can see by the mouth stamp, the Solari Roberts. Mm -hmm. White liners, of course. That's the color set up on Larry's knives. Black scales, white liners. Number 84. 85 through 90 here. All Genesis. Catch this blue one. Oh, yeah. Oh, and 91. Squirrel that's pattern. Genesis, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, also, that's in Kydex, though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. And the swirl. Mm. Uh, some burlap sack there with some mosaic pins. Yeah, look at the mosaics on those. Very nice. Yeah, those look great. Uh, let's check this one out. This is number 91 in the Kydex. Mm -hmm. Scandy. Make it click. Make it click. Oh, I love it. Dig it. Love it. Back up top here. This is 92, also in Kydex. Let's pop out, I think, it's some next gen. Yeah. Yeah, next gen. I'd call that the tactical next gen. Oh, yeah. Bead blasted finish. Gray. Full bead blast. Gray Dig liners. It. Nice kite. Nice like kite like Okay, 93 down through 97. These are all next gens. Mm. Another B blasted tactical piece. That has an X stamp on it, too. Oh, a little piece of 3B there. 95 is a Saber AEBL. 96 is the Swirl Coyote G10 in A2. I love the random swirl. That is so cool. That gives it such a good look. How about that piece there? What kind of wood yeah. is that? Uh, boy, I am going to have to defer to Mike on that one. What is this, Michael? That is Kella. Oh, okay. nice. With yeah. the large Corbys. Look at that. Yeah, that's a good look. And the black liners. I like that. It's candy right, too. Okay, down the bottom here, 98, 99. Ooh, coyotes. A couple coyotes. But I'll work coyotes. You know, that vine foul work is just something, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, that's dog bone. Okay. Yeah. Now that I'm is. looking at it, that's dog bone. That okay. is so cool. Are that's 98. Yeah. Yep, sure enough. And yeah, that's 99. Man, nice. Nice. Very cool. Okay. Up top here to 100. 100 through 104. These are GNS models. Oh, and a variety we'll of that in a second. Look at that. things here. You know what I want to say? Oh, that top model. Look at the color subtle combination there. Look at that. That to me is class. That's like natural and light natural. Yeah. It, it Boy, just, that's a good combo. Isn't it? It's mm -hmm. just so good looking. How about this though? Black micarta pins here also. Oh, right on. With was it a snake skin? Yeah. Snake skin, it. thick snake skin liners. Yeah, black micarta. Man, those are some good looking. That's one oh one. Number 102, that looks like African blackwood, but I could be wrong. What is that? Um, Mikey, would you say? He left. Or is that? <laughs> you know what? That is extreme. No, I, I think that's, African yeah, that's desert ironwood, but it's just an extreme dark piece. Okay. With that the orange liners. Nice. Looked a little different to me. All right, 103. Look Sammy did some fancy yes, stuff with the Kydex. Right on. Saber grind in 01. Man, that blue pops, doesn't it? Yeah, that that I love the blue rivets. He's got the oh, blue yeah. underlay. That's, That's a nice. cool, cool setup. Very well nice. done, Sammy. Good job. Another GNS. Pop this out of here. Scandy. Mm. Now check out this piece. Yeah, that one with the camo overlay. What mm. color is that? That's like a Cryptek. No, I mean this one here. What oh, is, coyote. Is this a, I think it's just coyote. That is so nice. Yeah. Man. Oh, with well, the black on the back. Yeah, okay. dual, but with that green, man, that just works. That does it? look nice. That looks good together. Yeah. Up here to 105, this is the only Mark II 
Bush Crafter in the shell. Yeah, I saw that come past my bench too, and I was like, hey, look at that. We're putting that together. Black, I'd say that's black yeah, paper. That's big, yeah, that's black paper. For with sure. the green liners. Yep. One of my favorite knobs I've never owned. A Mark II. Okay, 106, uh, 6, 7, and 8, Bush Crafters. Okay, yeah. Variety of, one of these top two are black with blue liners. Let's see here, A2. Number 108, different kind of wood. Mm. I honestly don't know off the top of my head what that uh, is. Let me flip Can it. you see that? Yeah. You know what, I'm going to have to defer to Mike on that one. When you call in and say what wood is on 108, we'll get an answer for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Number 109, down through 113, these are Bush Babies. Mm -hmm. All very different. 109 is a Scandi, 110 is a flat grind. These last three are 1075, or high carbon stuff. Check out the green oh, black mountain that finish. Is good looking. Aluminum hardware. 112. I it's along the lines of the dragon scales, mm -hmm. but deeper cuts. <clears throat> Something custom. Yeah, and, a, and a thinner scale material, too. And then 113 is the orange black. Look, it almost random looks like swirl. It, it melts in there, doesn't it? Oh, the yeah. It's set up. So and a awesome. thinner. Yeah, it's pretty comfy. That is very good. And, of course, a very unique look. Okay, well, number 114 and 115. Prong horns. Uh, yeah, there you go. Black with green. Oops. Uh, python and orange. Mm, nice. Scandies, of course. Nice. Last two on this table 116 and 117. Boat tail Scandies. 117 is black with thick snake skin. Mm. And we don't build a lot of boat tails, so. No. It's... And then one, uh, sorry, 116. Double red with thick snakeskin. Yeah, that is very Not cool. Dead. All right. Also, on this table, we have a handful of fire steels. These are all 3 8 rods, and they fit in the loops. You can see this. Yeah. Of the scale, of the uh, sheath. All right. Right. Okay. Uh, there's a variety. We've got a few mountain finish ones there, a few different pieces of desert ironwood, some burlap and orange. So call in and say, I really like the red with the racing stripe. And Elaine will grab it for you. Right or whoever. Okay, back to the top of this table. Numbers 118 through 124. These are all custom machetes. I don't think we've ever had this many machetes, mm -hmm. have we? No. This is a nice machete. This machete stuff. happens to have. Hey, don't, one. One. Hey, don't, okay. hey, don't look at that. That's cheap. <laughs> 118 is, is uh, just green micarta. And now these are all 1075 high carbon blades, the right. standard blank, basically on all these. Orange G10, natural micarta, no liners. 121 gets the black and orange swirl. Mm, like it. They all come with the handmade leather sheath, of course. 122, dragon scale in python. I mm, believe that is. Interesting. You see that real good? Yeah. There? Okay. 123 is a mountain finish, green black. And then, yeah, 124, double red, uh, black and green liners. And mm. look at the file work. I know. The whole way. The whole machete is file work. Nick did that. Came that out fantastic. Cool. If, so if cool. your buddy has a machete, but you want to one up them, pick up one yeah. of these here. And there you go. Right on. Okay, lots of uh, custom things, yeah, custom over, things here. over here. 125 yeah. is a custom one-off with mountain finish, white liners. This is uh, CPM 154 also. Yep, this would make a good camp kitchen knife. <clears throat> well, this one here almost didn't make the table. Because after I mountain finished it and sharpened it, I really, 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 really liked it. Gotcha. <laughs> but got too many knives. What are you going to do? 126 is a custom exposed tang lanyard hole. Yeah. Black cool liners. Mm -hmm. Good little EDC. That is a D2. Right on. 127, 128, 129. Very similar, but custom. These are hand, hand cut out. Uh, D2 on that one. Yeah. Natural and snake skin. This is a double red only. A little bit smaller blade, but yeah. quite handy. Quite oh, yeah. handy piece. 
and then the burlap, no liners. Mm -hmm. The number then, uh, number 130 here is a great plainsman, but yeah. quite the custom Customized handle. Customized great plainsman. You for you guys that are real kind of digging the tactical notches and stuff, yeah, right there. <clears throat> That's for that you. That is a cool piece. Okay, 131. Uh, what'd you Mongo, Mongo Scatty. Scatty. Yeah. We haven't built one of those in a while, have we? No, we have not. Mountain finish, white liners. Right on. Now that is a handful of knife. Yes, it is. That is a knife. <laughs> Very nice. 132. Oh, that's like a modified buoy. Yeah. That's our version of a buoy knife. Yeah, I mean, this is 01. Simple. Sorry. Simple working knife. Yeah. I was handling it the Good other size. day and, uh, again, was thinking, hmm. Camo G10. Might need one of those. <laughs> Up top here, 133, 134 is the camp kitchen. 133, check out the yeah. liners in the middle. In the middle, that is so cool. Nice. Look at the look at the thumb scallop. You can see yeah. it kind of mm -hmm. goes through. Yep, 134, orange liners. Is that desert mm. ironwood? I do. That believe looks so, a little yeah. different. Okay, mosaics and some nice yeah, file work, vine, vine file work, file work on, on the top of that one. It's beautiful. Awesome piece. Okay, 135. This is, yeah, this is a full kit. This comes with the bag and everything. Yeah, and sure. The bag right there is yeah. to your side. Yep. But so we have small powder, large powder, traveler, camp kitchen. Mm -hmm. All AEBL, all with the burlap. Everything yeah. matches. Fish eyes, the whole shit. Fantastic. And then number 136 yeah, is another also set. Also a full set. And that in is in the, the um, maple paper. Yeah, maple paper and all these. Now they come with, is there a board in here? They come with a bag. So these are made by Blue Ridge Overland Gear and they make pouches that Velcro. You can Velcro a pouch to the outside of this to hold your spices if you want. All of the knives fit in this Kydex sleeve that we make. Mm -hmm. Put another bag here, more bags here if you want. And <clears throat> Molly, Molly on the back. On the back. Very cool. You could mount this to the back seat of the Jeep or you yep. could do a lot with this. This is a really cool <clears throat> setup. Very nice. All right, guys, there it is. So uh, enjoy the show. Write down the numbers that you want. Call. Remember, we will call you back and it will be a fun time. We hope we were able to, to show you everything that you wanted to see. This is uh, it's going to be a fun day that we always enjoy our virtual Christmas show, our virtual vault. And and hope you guys enjoyed watching it. We will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. See ya.